Dustin Weinkoff here, product specialist with Agland, and today we're going to go through our P500 series drills. So standing here at the front of our P500 series uh, drill, or what some of you may know as our 1870. Um, looking at our front board here, this is where we are gonna set our shank and packer pressure. So by activating the SCV in the cab and have it set to the minimum flow, we can come back here and open our valves to set our pressure. Uh, one way on your SCV obviously is going to increase it, the other way will decrease it. When we're all done, we wanna make sure that our valve is closed. Um, our valve operation valve here, we need to make sure that is on so we can get movement of our tool. And then here, um, there is a reference chart showing pressure to pounds to the ground. So uh, for instance, you know, 1300 pounds is about 340 pounds of trip. So trip force, just remember that just like your old hole drill. So looking here, so this is where our transport locking pins go um, when we're folded up. One thing to remember is after we've pulled those pins to activate our hydraulics, we do need to make sure that this selector valve is pulled out um, so it will be interfering with the pinhole here. Um, so to get any movement, we need to make sure that's pulled in the out position for field operation. So setting the depth on your drill, very simple and straightforward. What we're going to do here um, is we're just going to remove this pin. This one latch our shims. And here we can slide more or less shims in. Um, so everything we do on this side, on the left hand side, we want to mimic over on the right hand side. And just as a reference, for the depth of the shim, it will be twice as much in the ground. So more shims in, we'll lift the drill out, less shims, we'll drop your tool in further. One thing to always remember um, with the P500 series and an 1870 is making sure that we're always phasing our lift cylinders. So to do so, great practice in the morning, have that SCV number one set on continuous to phase those cylinders, lifting itself out of the ground um, while the tractor warms up. And then in the field, it's a great idea to have it set on a 10 or 15 second um, timer. So when we do D10 forward and the tool goes down, we'll continuously go for 15 seconds. And same when we detent um, back, as the tool lifts up, it will run for another 15 seconds to make sure that our cylinders are staying phased and our tool is always staying level. So a few things to go through on our openers. Um, Yearly checks, every couple days, these are really good things to go through um, to make sure that our tool is set properly and where we want it to be. Uh, number one thing right here, we want to make sure that this pin here is latched around. We want to make sure that it can't go anywhere. So checking those. The other thing we want to look for is our locking pin for our seed tube block right here. As you can see right here, it's not fully recessed into the holder. Um, and what will happen is as the paint wears or vibrations, that can actually pop out and we can have movement of our seed tube up and down. So we want to just unlatch it here, take the pressure off. Here we could change our seed tube depth adjustment if we need. So we'll set it back to our number seven here. We'll make sure that it's pushed in tight and we'll give it a lock. We'll put our pin back in the proper way and we're now ready to go. So this is really good to go through and check all of your openers, especially yearly, but as we're going through, climbing through our tool, just taking a visual note of those. The next thing we want to look at here is the scrapers on our packers. 
Um, from new, we like to set them a little bit tighter than the spec in your books. We like to set them uh, hotel card, credit card away. And what I like to look for is after that first couple thousand acres, first year of use, I like to see a U start to get worn here. When I see that U get worn there, then I can slide my scraper in a little bit more and it does help scrape the side profile of our packer and make sure it stays clean in muddy conditions. So when we're hooked up here and just going through our tool, um, we wanna make sure that our primary hoses are rooted correctly, especially if we've changed our top shoot, bottom shoot hoses uh, to do peas or beans, like we talked about earlier in our cart videos. Um, so following from the cart, so on the left-hand side, so looking forward here, left-hand side, that is gonna be number one, so T1 and B1. So we wanna make sure we're following those primary hoses from the cart number one, all the way through to our corresponding towers across the tool. So very, very good idea to check those um, as section control doesn't specifically know where the hoses go, it just knows which one to command. So we'll go through that and check it now. So now just a little talk a little bit about leveling our P500 series or 1870. Um, when it comes to leveling, a couple things we want to check before we make any adjustments on the machine. Number one being checking our tire pressures across the tools. So um, on our P556s, we want to make sure our front casters here have 36 pounds of air and our mainframe wheels across that they have 60 pounds. Um, so tools from us, they will have the deck on them, but just remember 36 pounds in the front and 60 on your mainframes. Now after we've checked that, next thing we wanna do is make sure that our cylinders are phased very well. Um, we typically get a lot of calls in the spring saying a drill is out of level that day one. Um, by the time we get out there, everything seems good and it's just those cylinders are out of phase. So start of the season, we really wanna make sure that we're phasing those cylinders well um, before we go to the field. Now when we do go to the field, um, our tire pressures are good, we phased our cylinders really well, um, and it comes time and we still find we're on level. The first place we're going to start adjusting our fore and aft is we always wanna start in the center of our tool. So on the center of our tool there, we've got the turnbuckle. So that is gonna adjust the fore and aft of the center frame of our tool. Now keep in mind, everything we do from the center is going to affect outwards. So as we make adjustments in the center, it will affect us um, as we move outwards. Once we're happy with the fore and aft of the center of the tool, we're gonna move to our next wing section. And to adjust the fore and aft of our wing sections, we're gonna adjust this turnbuckle here for this section, mimicked on the other side. Once we're happy with that, we do our outer section, we'll adjust the turnbuckle here and over on the other side. Now, checking our fore and aft um, with our tool in the ground, we want to make sure that we put our tool in the ground, we pull it 50, 60 feet, and stop with the tool in the ground. Um, what that does is it allows the tool to be sucked and pulled down into the ground. We stop, and then what we want to do with it in the ground, digging in the dirt, we want to find this opener hole right here. Now to make sure our fore and aft is level, we wanna make sure that a front opener and a rear opener, that the slot of our hole here is at the same position to ground level. So easy rule of thumb, uh, the bottom of our slot here level with the ground, it's about three and a half, three and a quarter to three and a half inches. And if the top of our slot here is at ground level, it's about three and a half to four inches. So check the a front and a rear and that's how we'll determine our fore aft level. So now if we have to do any side to side leveling on our tool, um, side to side within each section, that is gonna be done on our lift cylinders here with these jam nuts. So again, as we're checking our tool for fore aft levelness, we're happy with that. Now maybe we notice that uh, left side or right side of our section is deeper or shallower than the other. This is where we're gonna start adjusting this. So we will back the jam nut off here, move it which way we need, retighten, uh, pull it through the field and check again. 